nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen Well, we are uh, leaving this truck stop right about now a little bit cold yet but that's all right we'll make it out of here looks like it's another gorgeous morning with some beautiful sunshine that's right well, it looked like this guy needed a spot and he parked right here there's no parking there, but I guess when you need a spot, you need a spot. Yeah, I suppose. As long as the flying jail or whatever don't kick you out, right? Yeah. I remember being at this flying jail a while back ago, but only one time before, I think. I think it's only been one time. So let's get us back on the interstate. Let's get some miles in today. We got 501 miles today. Miles, take the entrance to the right on by 75 South. And we shall be at our delivery place. But uh, I was already looking at the uh, uh, app there, at 600 feet and it's take showing the to the right on by 75 South. That there is a uh, pilot truck stop right there, uh, pretty much there in that town where I got it delivered to. So, which is right off of 84, or was it 85, something like that? Yeah. And so we'll go see if we can find a parking spot over there. So that's only about eight and a quarter hours of driving, maybe eight and a half. miles to the left on I-75 South. Well, that's not bad. Not bad at all. But we will have to get fuel today somewhere. But I just did not want to get fuel in Ohio or Michigan. You usually try and avoid the northern states of the U.S. Uh, to not fuel there. I don't know uh, why exactly that it is, but that's what Penners has on their uh, recommendation when we get hired there. You know, try and not. They always tell us try not to fuel in uh, Michigan, Indiana, Minnesota, Montana, states like that. They try and tell us not to fuel, you know. Which I usually don't have a problem with, you know, unless you. Uh, just run there and you uh, were kind of low on fuel and didn't think about it earlier I guess then sometimes you got a fuel there or if you have small tanks but I got big tanks so I don't usually have to worry about it too much so uh, anyways we'll continue on rolling down the road here thank you for joining us on this beautiful Sunday morning yeah that's coming right along with us. Let's fasten your seatbelt and let's have some fun. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are in Kentucky. Looks like we got about 100 miles to go to Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah. And I am now in the area where the snowstorm had gone through. And as you guys can probably tell, there is a lot of snow up there. Oh yeah, I have seen a few spots where uh, there was uh, so much snow when there's three lanes uh, as you will probably see right here they didn't even uh, remove the snow all the way till the uh, third a uh, third uh, or whatever lane you want to call it like the right hand lane 
is, is all the way cleared, you know? I don't know if we're going to see it right here again, but uh, I've seen a few spots where the snow was like in the lane yet, you know? Uh, but it looks like they got a ton of snow up here, that is for sure. There is a lot of snow, that's... And it all looks fresh, you know? I mean, it only gone through here, I think, two days ago, so... It's just absolutely gorgeous though, but it uh, must not have been fun one when the system went through here, right? I mean, look at that to the right there. That looks beautiful. Nice fresh snow like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, we are going to make a pit stop here pretty soon. I think here in about 12 miles or so. We'll probably go and uh, have a pit stop. Have my mandatory half an hour off and then we'll uh, continue on from there alrighty guys and gals here we are at the truck stop and as you can see they are still trying to dig out of all the snow that they got up here there's a lot of truck drivers in here that been here for a while it looks like I mean kind of snowed in here a little bit but uh, yeah we are Still gonna get out of here if we can. Yeah. I see this truck up here, he's been here for a while. He's got all snow all the way around him. But, uh, be careful in here. Whoa, look at this prime here. Oh, he parked in there. I mean, like a boss, eh? <clears throat> yeah, I think I've been at this truck stop one time before. It's a little bit weird on how we got to get out of here in order to get back to the 75 we got to leave that way yeah well that's the way it is it is nasty but what can you do eh you gotta get out of here somehow and I guess if you get snowed in you get snowed in but the way it goes there we go anyways let's get ourselves back on the interstate and then uh, we'll see how that goes well guys this is basically what it looks like <clears throat> trying to get out of here nothing is plowed on this road here so they're pretty much driving on ice and snow up here Wow, this is bad. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Uh, stop sign up here. We obviously want to go this way. Yikes, this is a mess from what it looks like. <laughs> wow. They definitely gotten a lot of snow up here, that is for sure. Left on. Carbon bypass, US 25D. Alright, that's what we will try to do then. There's a Walmart. That whole Walmart is almost filled up with trucks in there. Because everybody needed a spot to park, I guess, because of the snowstorm. So, that's crazy. It is just a beautiful afternoon drive. Yeah, it's just 12 o'clock right now. Look at these beautiful trees that you see up there. They're nice and shined up. But all the snow and ice hanging off of them. And the uh, sun is starting to uh, warm everything up. And it's starting to melt and all that. Just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. It looks beautiful after the snowstorm, but uh, I don't think that it was too beautiful at the moment when they had the snowstorm. I can't imagine uh, all of them guys being stuck in it, you know. And there still was guys there at the truck stop where you could see that they've been there before the snowstorm and they were still parked there. I don't know why they wouldn't get back on the road. I mean, the road is good. Absolutely nothing wrong with the road, but oh well. I guess if they want to park there, it's their business, but uh, roads are good to go. I 
mean, I don't really know how, how they're going to be further down the road, but uh, as of right now, everything is good to go. No problem here. Just a beautiful drive in the afternoon, on a Sunday afternoon. That's all. A little bit of a rockies up here, or a little bit hills and stuff, so makes it for a good scenic place well guys I just thought this was pretty good scenery so we would uh, show you a little bit to this uh, rock cut that they got up here yeah look at that how they cut that rock away so they could make this uh, highway a little easier for us to drive on that's sweet of them to do that eh yeah, almost looks like we're starting to get a little, uh, well, not yet. It almost looks like we uh, we got a little bit less snow over here than what we did further north. So I think we're slowly starting to get towards where there's less and less snow from all the snowstorms. So we might be running out of snow here eventually. Well, I was looking at the radar. Where I gotta go, it, I don't think it was supposed to be snowing up there. And it was only supposed to be raining up there, so... I am assuming that we should be getting out of the snow here in the next couple of hours. Mind you, I only have 240 miles to go, but... Uh, that should be far enough to take us out of the snow, maybe. I'll sit down and buy you a cup This truck stop and coffee We both know we'll fix you right up I can't drive a big rig But man, I play a lot of shows I'll leave the driving to you As they can sing in these tunes Cause it's the only life I know I'll pick the guitar And you drive the truck Hey, I play the gigs and you drive the rigs, you know it's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired Of living this life we love I'll pick the guitar And you drive the truck Oh, tell us about it, Mo. Well, I better get it going If I'm gonna make Dallas by noon I pick a little guitar for jamming the gear Don't have to do After four million miles You think there's nowhere left to go And I'll climb back up That old truck Cause it's the only life I know So you pick the guitar And I'll drive the truck you play the gigs and I'll drive the rig You know it's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired Living this life we love You pick the guitar I'll drive the truck Yeah, I'll pick the guitar I'll drive the truck Yeah, I'll play the gigs I'll drive the rig It's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired Of living this life we love I'll pick the guitar And I'll drive the truck You pick the guitar Hey, you got the truck Watch that Jake break. It's getting in our song here, boys. Hammer down, boy. I'm gonna head it on back to Nashville now. Oh, grind them gears a little bit so I can hear you. That's awful pretty truck you got there, Mo. Oh, boy. Won't you park that old truck and come on down to Nashville with me and do a little singing? Oh, I'm just a cowboy. It looks like we have just gotten into some bigger hills up here. 
I know it's because the bush is right around us right now, we can't really see it, but uh, it definitely is some bigger, uh, bigger hills and stuff like that up here, but oh well, at least the, the roads are dry and it's good going, no problem up here. I think I remember staying at this rest area right here to the left. I think I remember staying at that one one night. Yeah, if memory serves me right, I think I stayed there one night. It's a very tiny little rest area up there, but I managed to park in there and I was just about the only one in there too. Yeah. Oh well, we're going to continue on cruising along here. And we got only 130 miles to go and we'll be at our final location for tonight. That's good. All right, all right. This is what I was talking about. Yeah. -ha. We are on I-40. We just entered North Carolina. That's right. We got some big ass hills up here. It says no trucks in the left lane, so uh, I can't really pass this truck up here. But the uh, speed limit for truck ha trucks has been reduced to 50 mile an hour. And that flatbed up there, he keeps going way slower than the speed limit, so... But I gotta follow him because it says no trucks in the left lane, so... I just stay behind him and keep my distance. But I know it's not quite as scenic or maybe quite as big mounds as up to... If you would see up in uh, British Columbia or whatever, you know, but hey... For some of you that might still be pretty scenic or pretty big hills. You know, for somebody that's never seen hills. Or for somebody that's maybe from South America, from Paraguay. We do have a little bit of mountains up there in Paraguay if you go towards Bolivia, but uh, in the central part where I live, where we grew up and all that, where all them people live, you don't have any big mountains like this. It's, they've never seen anything like it. Well, it might be very interesting and might even be interesting to you guys up here in North America. Yeah, you never know. I'm just trying to show you whatever I can, you know. Try and make it very interesting. And I find it to be very scenic up here. And probably look better in summer. But well, guys, it is just coming up to a tunnel. And it is a little bit uh, sad that that uh, snow plow has to go this slow. I'm in first gear. Like, why do you gotta go so slow just to salt the road? I mean, yeah, I understand you want to salt it good before uh, before the tunnel up here, but come on, this slow? That's a little ridiculous, my opinion, but. Anyways, we'll be going through a tunnel, which we did here a few minutes ago, but uh, yeah, I didn't quite capture that one. So I figure, well, I'm gonna try and see if I can get this one on uh, on video. Yeah, you might have to go low gear here before he. What the heck? No, he's stopping on the road getting out what in the world is this guy doing yeah that is stupid why couldn't you pull off to the road just to check your salt level like come on that is pretty bad what he's doing he's stopping traffic like he should never be doing that I don't get it I don't get it. That is bad, man. Why do you hold up traffic? I mean, the road is good. I don't see nothing wrong with the road. I've never slipped yet. I don't know why he's got to stop traffic just to... Uh... Spun out. Damn it. Anyways, we'll be right back. I guess here we go. We waited about 15 minutes. And uh, I turned on the radio, and apparently there was a accident on the other side of this tunnel. That's what they are saying on the radio. So that is what's going on. 
that's why they stopped the traffic here on this side of the tunnel so that way they could uh, clean the traffic up there a little bit clean the roads a little bit I don't get it though it's not uh, you know it's not at the freezing point it's above freezing point so I don't get it why they would have an accident up here but maybe some people going too fast around the corners maybe I don't know that beats me all I know is we're going through a tunnel and we're finally rolling again I don't know how fast but they said just down the road here about a mile or so that's where apparently the accident is so we'll keep the cameras rolling I suppose we'll see what happens that's right here we're coming out of the tunnel oh that sun is bright oh better put my sunny glasses on yeah there we go yeah that salt shaker is really putting down some salt that's for sure I guess they want to make sure that this road is going to be good for tonight we don't run into problems right alrighty ladies and gentlemen I thought you know what this might be a good helpful tip for some of you that are not very familiar on how to go about uh, donating to me I'm sure I'll get some questions on this and I forgot to do this video uh, recording of it and as you can see I'm on my page this is what it looks like if you're on a laptop or a desktop or anything like that right here in the corner where you see my mouse that is where you will see a support button if you click on that that is going to take you to my uh, donation page so right here it says support the trucker Rudy show and here you can enter your uh, amount whatever you want and you log in with your PayPal account and uh, do all that and then you'll be uh, sending me some money I guess but uh, if you uh, are not able to get to a desktop you can go under my about page right there you see the about button right there and you can go ahead and click on the about and you will see that in here as well and that will also work on a mobile device you can also uh, click this part and I will do the same thing <coughs> will the uh, will direct you to my uh, donation page just to give you guys a little bit of an idea on uh, how to actually go about it and if the, if you can't figure that one out yet I also have put the link in the uh, description box of uh, any given video and so all you got to do is uh, go down on on any particular video from now on uh, I have it set as default and just go on here and show more and you go down to where you see uh, right here where I have the link for uh, the uh, PayPal and you just click right on it and it will take you to that uh, that website so that should probably answer the questions for you guys on uh, how to go about uh, doing all this so uh, just to give you guys a little bit on an idea on uh, on how it works so I figured I'll throw this video in there and uh, that should answer some of those questions so thanks already guys and gals we've been stopped here for a good while yeah as soon as we got here we fueled the truck right up you know why it was very cheap to fuel up over here this was the cheapest place that i saw all the way down here to fuel up at so i said well i'm gonna try and make it here and we are just a mile and three quarters down the road from where we got to deliver our load tomorrow morning so that is fantastic and so uh, you want to know how much the fuel was over here well it was extremely cheap <laughs> I'm dogging you guys that's all it was a dollar sixty nine nine yeah it was the cheapest I have ever seen fuel prices be anywhere yeah I couldn't believe it a dollar sixty nine nine Wow that was cheap I filled up 
what was it 200 well I think I do have the receipt in here now, let me see 225 gallons and the cost was three hundred and eighty two dollars and twenty eight cents so uh, yeah that's what it came out to and then we went inside and we had ourselves a shower I came back to the truck and added yesterday's video and uh, went back inside and had me a bite to eat and now we're back here ready for bed that's right we are ready for bed we are gonna go to sleep here very soon and then we'll go deliver our load right away first thing in the morning tomorrow morning and then we'll uh, make our way over to Tennessee because we have gotten a reload that's right we do have a reload out of Tennessee I think it's just uh, going back on the I-26 here uh, I gotta go 85 to 26 and then go 26 into uh, Tennessee and then uh, pick up a load there tomorrow and that will bring me back home yeah so that's sweet and uh, you saw earlier in my clip there I was complaining about that uh, uh, salt truck stopping in the, in the middle of the road there and stuff like that and they said there was an accident well there was quite a bit of a delay there the whole the whole stretch I mean we were constantly moving stopping moving stopping and uh, I never saw one accident nowhere I didn't see a toll truck I didn't see no cops nothing so I don't know what the big deal was over there I, I, I have no idea I mean to me it just sounded like they hadn't cleaned the road yet and, uh, and uh, all I really saw was uh, the the road cleaning crew there uh, a couple of miles down the road they were uh, had taken an exit ramp and they were on the side there on the exit ramp there at the bottom of the hill there but that's about all I could see I mean there was a cleaning crew out there but that's it but uh, I guess we got a little bit of a slowdown over there but we made it that's all that matters we are here finito for today so let's go to bed and we'll see you guys all tomorrow hope you enjoyed this little vlog and we'll catch you again tomorrow here right here on this channel if you have anything to say about my video today or you want to talk about anything else there's a comment section right down there below leave me a big thumbs up share the video and if you are not subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button because we will send you an email every single day when we upload a new video you'll get notified and if we do a live show you will also be notified if you use that uh, mobile app there's a little notify notify button on there nowadays so you can get notified instantly if I ever go on live and I don't notify you well I don't know I can't uh, always uh, tell everybody that in the week in advance that I'm gonna be doing a uh, live show I can maybe do it two days maybe but that's about it but there's still going to be somebody saying that oh we didn't know about it in advance well oh well too bad I guess you're just gonna to have to watch the replay but anyways that's enough for today we'll see you again tomorrow have a good rest of your day behind me that day is gonna come